by the end of this video, I want you to decrease the amount of fried food that you eat. And I'm going to explain why. But first, as always, subscribe, stick around to the end, and check out the description for my coaching. Now, I'm going to explain why fried food specifically are actually quite bad for you. And despite the fact that they're generally quite a fatty food, and if you've been on self-improvement, you may know that fats are actually quite a good thing for you. And it's sugar that may be causing you your problems. And I've done some videos on this in the past, which you can check out if you want. And I know many other people have done videos on that, which you may have already seen, you may have checked out, and you may already know this. And this means that you may be under the impression that fried foods aren't all that bad for you. And you may still eat things like fried chicken and stuff because you think that the fact that it's fried and not sugary is like not such a bad thing. You may still eat fast food because you think that it's not sugary and therefore it's okay for you. However, one fast foods and fried foods and fast and fried foods that come from fast food stores are still sugary because big food companies put lots of sugar in food to keep you hooked and keep you coming back because food selling nowadays is a lot more about profit than health and nutrition. And there are other reasons why you shouldn't eat fast foods and fried foods, obviously because it's processed. And I knew that things like McDonald's burgers were not going to be good for me because the ingredients were processed and sprinkled with sugar. But I couldn't quite understand and didn't quite know why things like fried chicken were bad for me. And I've still eaten this in the past. I've still eaten fried chicken like recently and stuff. But now after reading a book, I've realized that this stuff does still have negative health effects, despite the fact that it doesn't contain lots of sugar. So why is fried foods bad for us? And it's the reason that when I'm going to use the example of eggs, because it's something that I have, I used to have every morning. When you put oil in a pan and you put the raw egg in the pan, when you heat up the oil and the egg, the polyunsaturates in maybe the seed oil that you use, because seed oils are seen as something that's actually a lot more healthier to fry things in, which is completely untrue, because when you fry seed oils, instead of being the polyunsaturated fats like omega-3s and omega-6s, they turn into things called trans fats. And trans fats are undigestible fats, and they are essentially incredibly bad for us. And along with sugars are something I like to call the real killers. You shouldn't eat polyunsaturated fried foods because many companies, they fry their oil specifically in like sunflower oil. You may have seen like the things where they fry like chicken and chips in, where they've got like the metal uh like baskets and they've got the big vats of sunflower oil and they've got the chips frying in those you do not want to eat those kind of things because of the fact that it produces trans fats which are incredibly bad for you and they're and the fats that are also in the food themselves for instance the eggs there will be polyunsaturates in the eggs that are getting fried that are turning into trans fats which means you are still eating trans fats both from the oil that is like um deposited onto the egg or the chips or whatever but from the actual polyunsaturated fats in the egg itself and this means that half the egg is undigestible and you can't actually use the fats to a good level and frying food in general also releases these things called free radicals now this is quite a scientific and complicated process which i'm not going to go through specifically but free radicals are essentially really reactive substances that you can get from frying foods and heating foods like combustion and stuff you do not want free radicals on your food because then you're eating them and it may react with things in your body that you don't want it to and therefore it can become carcinogenic because it may alter your cell composition which can cause cancer and it's all a big complicated scientific processes and i encourage you to do your own research on this stuff and i got this from a book called the optimum nutrition bible which is an old book that's from like the 1990s, but a lot of the stuff in that book can still be applied to your life today. So you should, for instance, I used to eat fried eggs every morning, right? And I was doing all this stuff, but I, instead of using seed oil, I like to use butter and olive oil to fry my foods because I knew that polyunsaturated fats create trans fats anyway, but I wasn't aware of the whole free radical thing. And so I was quite stunned when I read this book and I was like, this makes sense why people say fried foods are bad, even though they don't contain any sugar. Because, like, it's creating all these reactive molecules and undigestible molecules, which are so bad for your body. 
And so I encourage you to stop eating fried foods. And now this morning and for other mornings, I'm going to ha start having these things called poached eggs, which you can put in the microwave and it doesn't like heat up the polyunsaturated fats and the molecules. It only heats up the water because microwaves work by vibrating water molecules and heating them up, which because many foods are like they're almost completely water. It basically heats up the whole food. I encourage you to do your own research on this topic, but I still find it quite interesting that fried foods are actually quite bad for you and that there is a reason. And it's not just the fact that they're fatty, which we know that fats are bad for us. And we shouldn't just believe the gen generic advice that all fats are bad, cholesterol is bad and stuff like that. So I encourage you to do your own research, but I also encourage you to stop frying so much food. And I hope you decrease the amount of fried food that you eat. And I hope you understand why fried food is so bad. And my coaching is in the description if you need any other help with your diet or like any other self-improvement related thing. And I recommend subscribing because I love this community of young tribal people who are willing to improve themselves so much more than they already have. So good luck.